His wife is robbed at gunpoint. Good evening, I'm Lindsay Burning. And I'm Lucas Geisler. Police already caught three suspects after a short car chase and crash. ABC 17's Sarah Masler Donar was in St. Louis today where Greitens offered his own thoughts about the ordeal. And Sarah, he wants to reach out to the suspect's families. He does, Lucas. He said today that he wants every family in the state of Missouri to know what they to know that they can go home at the end of the day and know that their kids are safe. As a husband, uh, my first thought was for Sheena's safety. Um, my second thought was for justice. Last night, Governor-elect Eric Greitens' wife, Sheena Greitens, was getting out of her car in this coffee shop parking lot near St. Louis University when she was held at gunpoint and robbed. I just wanted to say that I am safe and that we are incredibly thankful to uh, the law enforcement officers who and, and their families who go out every night and work to keep all of us safe. This morning, the couple says the incident has strengthened their resolve to get tougher on crime in Missouri. If we continue down our current path, we'll continue to lead to more disorder, more lawlessness, more chaos, people living farther and farther apart from each other, divided by fear. The three young men, ages 14, 15, and 19, attempted several robberies last night, but were eventually caught. These young men uh, victimized many people last night, and they need to face the justice system for what they did. Um, law and order must prevail. I spoke to some local people who told me the neighborhood is more affluent, so people from other places target it to commit crimes like last night's robberies. All right, thank you, Sarah. We're also digging into how this will affect the governor-elect's security moving forward, coming up tonight on ABC 17 News at 6. We also confirmed two more residence halls at Mizzou will not have any students living in them next year. Today, the university's residence halls association